Good morning peeps. I'm back at Suffolk Water Park today, but I'm in the big lake. I'm gonna take a little gamble to try and catch some big bream. I have had big bream on this peg before. Right, I'll show you the peg where I am. There we are. Peg ACDC, they name all the pegs here. Right. I'm just about set up. I just got to set another rod up for feeding the swim. I don't know. I might go out without putting too much out to start with. Now I've gone at 30 metres and I'm just there where you can see that bit of weed. A bit there somewhere, just in the shade, halfway through the shades of the trees. That's 30 metres. I've measured it out with the sticks. Here's the lake. You can't see too far around there. You can't quite see the calf. But there we are. Let's see. Fair bit of weed down this end. Right, I'll catch you in a bit. I'm just about set up. I'll, I'll, well, while I'm here, I'll show you my tray I've got set up. That's all, that's very little today. I've got some dendrobeaners, some sweet corn, and I've just been soaking some four mil sticky pellets. Lander net ready, rod ready, and that's my pro distance. Let's have a go. And if anybody's interested in the gear I'm using, if you check the link below in the description of the video, you can go on the links and you can go on the gear I'm using, all right? Right, let's get out there, see what's about. Catch you in a minute, hopefully. Right, what I'm doing is I'm feeding the swim up. I'm not gonna overdo it. I'm just gonna put a few bits and bobs out. I'll show you what I'm putting out in a little while. Get a couple more of these. This is the smaller spot, that's not a big one. As I said earlier, I'm only out there 30 metres. Don't need to go anymore. It looks as if I go 40, I'll be in the weeds. So if I go in the middle of that lot, there's a breeze now getting up. Hopefully that's blowing from left to right. So hopefully it might pay off for me today. Let's see. Put one more out show you what I'm doing. It's sort of pellets and stuff like that for feed rather than ground bait. I'll just try it with pellets today and a method feeder. Let's just see what we can find out here. As I said before, this rod I'm using to cast the bait out is the Aquas Ultra D. 3.9 meter feeder rod. It's a heavy duty rod, but I like to use that as a bait up feeder rod. Right, let's put one more out. Then I'll finish my cup of tea and get out there. I find it easier to do it with a spawn. <laughs> it's alright using a big old bait up feeder, but they don't have to make a lunk because they have you know, a big old bang out there because it's quite big old feeders. One more. You always say one more, don't you? <laughs> Let's try and keep it reasonably accurate. I don't want to go on a dustbin lid, but thereabouts, within a couple of metres. Or I'm old school, a couple of yards. <laughs> right, that'll do nicely. Everyone opened lovely. Right, I'll show you how I'm baiting up in one second. All right, I'll get back to you. Right, I'm loaded up with four mil pellets. I've softened down and I've got a fat boy Fuka bait on there. Right, let's get out. Let's see if there's anything found to feed yet. And then I can finish my cup of tea. <laughs> and that duck. Nearly got him. Sorry, ducky. Sorry, ducky. <laughs> what am I like? Right, let's see what that brings today. Let's hope I get a bite or two. So I can show you lovely subscribers. It's 
tighten everything up. Make sure that's all tight. That's tight there. Move that round just a touch. Ooh, that's better. Let's hope that tip move round. We all live in hope, don't we? Still, that's, I know it's all right to say, yes, that's lovely and still and calm, but you want a bit of a chop on there when, it's, when you're going for bream. Still, I'll let you know how I get on in a bit. Let's just see, hopefully that tip will go around soon. Good morning. Well, I did just give you a few pellets, so don't keep hissing at me. Have some more, look. I'll give you a bit of grub and you hiss at me. Well, that's nice of you, isn't it? <laughs> Come on, Rod Tip. Well, at last I'm in. <laughs> That's been a very slow morning. I've had four liners. Now this is my first fish. That's if I get it in. <laughs> I never count them, as you know, until I get them in the net. That looked like a half decent bream. I'll tell you what I've done in a little while. I just made a little change. Oh, we got him. We got him. Yeah, it is a half decent brim. Lovely. If I can get a hold of him. Let's get this scorcher. Oh, he's all tangled up, silly ass. <laughs> Hold it, there we are. There we are, look at that. That's about time I got one. I waited a long while for you, mate. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> lovely, that lovely. Right, peeps, what I did was I changed it to a white fuca like that on a bayonet I think that's called a bayonet and ground bait I've been using uh, pellets and all I got was liners so what i done was put it like this just bury that in there have the hook as you can see sticking up in the air like I did with the pellets the other week and then make sure the hook stays pointing upwards like that then I put a load of ground bait on it and squished it down and give it a good old squeeze that's on a Preston uh, hybrid feeder and the white pellet is inside that lot and that last fish came after that look two minutes and 59 seconds and then I forgot to push it so it could have been about two and a half minutes right let's get out after another one About 32 metres now. I moved it out, not 32 metres. Uh, I went, I was out at 30 and I just pulled off another half a metre. So I'm 30 and a half metres now. So I've just gone a little bit further to see if that makes any difference, and it has. Right, set the stopwatch and we're off again. Yoo hoo! Right, let's see if I can get another one. <laughs> Been a while, but at least I'm in. No blankety blank. Right, let's get out there again.
go on, go round. <laughs> While I'm filming, go round, go on. No, it's not going to. Ah, we're in again. Three minutes and 20 seconds this time. It's kiting round to the left. Come on, my little beauties. Lovely bite that was, cool. Oh, that's a big old bream. Yeah, lovely. <laughs> I call them big bream. Bigger than the last one. Gotcha. Oh. Yeah, it's a good one. Put that in there. Get disgorger. He's all tangled up in the line. <laughs> What's new? Got him. He liked a yellow fuga. <laughs> right, let me show you in a second. Right, let's show you this booty. Look at that. Oh, it's more like it, isn't it? <laughs> Look at that. Ooh, that's a good five or six pound. I won't buy it. Ooh, itch on your nose. God, he's slimy. Ooh, let's put him back. Ooh. Yeah. It's not the biggest one I had here, so I won't buy it, but that's a good one. We're in again. <laughs> I just show you what I was doing and casting out. That one was out there that long. Two minutes and 52 seconds. <laughs> I took all morning with hardly a bite. Then almost three fish in a row. Isn't that marvellous? They've obviously found my feed out there. Another nice one by the looks of it. Cart boys hate these. <laughs> Another nice one. Oops, a bit too tight. Just in the side the mess. bream look <laughs> that's three already all on the trot nearly <laughs> perfect one of the workmen come by just now and he said they will turn up and they just did just as he told me brilliant I hope that pass over can you hear that oh no thundering well, I'm in again. That one was about six minutes, so that's not all the same time each time. Another nice one by the looks of it. He's a fighter.
so you can call these bream because they're dark. <laughs> People say they're skimmers, no they're not, these ones are bream. Right in the finger, served me right. <laughs> Another nice one, look. <laughs> Oop, nearly dropped him again. All I do is do a sprinkle like that. Get the yellow fat boy Fuka. Get it so it turns around so the hook is upwards like that, look. Sprinkle around it so it stay where it is. Just use a bend of your fingers to make it squeeze so it stay where it is. Here we are. You can't see my fuka bait in there, but that's only green bait. That'll soon show that. Right, get out there again. See if I can get number five. Ho <laughs> ho Lovely old jubbly. Waited a long while, but hey ho. When they're big like that, I don't mind. Right, let's get out again. Thirty-one meters. I'm out there. So we tighten up. It's a little bend. Stopwatch. Bink. There's a thunderstorm. That's just missing me. Look at that. Look. Oh. I don't know if you heard that very well when I filmed it just a few seconds ago. We'll see. <laughs> Storm do stay away. <laughs> now I'm catching fish, I don't want to <laughs> absolutely chuck it down. Because when I was getting my day ticket today in the shop, somebody said I should be thundering and lightning, but it's just missing us. But I don't know, it might creep over this way. Here we come again. Another nice one, yeah. Another good one. Get in there. Put a slightly smaller net on today. Perhaps I shouldn't have done. <laughs> you just spat the food out. As you can see, oh, sorry about that shot there. Just <laughs> right in the rubber of his lip, look. <laughs> See, I like bream. A lot of people don't, but I don't mind. Yes, they're slimy, but get your cloth and wipe your hands. We're in again. Another. <laughs> I can see it out there. He's come right to the top. If I keep it down, see if I can keep him down a bit. <laughs> Brilliant. That one was two minutes and 50 seconds. <laughs> yeah, another big old slab. Yeah, lovely. Yeah. This is the biggest one of the day. Yeah, it looks good. Very good. <laughs> right, let's get this out. Don't let him come off. Bring him up, bring him up, bring him up. Yep. Oh, just got him in the net. <laughs> right. Oh. 
Oh, heck, yeah, these are good. Oh, oh. I changed the Fuca colour just to see if it make any difference. And that was on a red pellet. <laughs> so I'll try a white one this time because the pellets come off. So I'll try a white one just if I do. I don't think it make much difference if they're feeding on the ground bait on the feeder. I don't think it make much odds, but. <laughs> Got a nasty mark on the side there. Oh, look at that, boy. <laughs> Lovely old jubbly. I cleaned my jacket two days ago. It looks like I might have to do it again with the old boys. Ha <laughs> ha, don't matter. Ha <laughs> ha. There you go, Nick. On Fuka baits again. <laughs> do nicely. We're in again. I shall have to celebrate with a cup of tea in a minute because <laughs> my goal really is to yeah I'm very very happy with what I'm catching but I would just love a double figure my biggest is out here I think no it isn't it's another place I won't say where that was but seven pound odd I want to beat that here because I know they're bigger ones in here because my brother's had them when he's carp fishing see him coming in Oh, he's a big old dark one. Don't think that's a double. That's a bigger, no? Cool, hell yeah, it is. Come on, male fruit. Round this side a touch. Will he go in the net? Just. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, he is a big old dark on this one. Yeah, and that was on a black fuga. I just thought I'd change it and not that make any difference, I don't think. The only thing I have changed is my disgorger, because this hole in the disgorger weren't quite big enough to get. Oh, look at the size of that one in. <laughs> You're getting bigger, old mate. Your spawning spots are still there, but the size of that, look. <laughs> I don't know, it's fairly heavy. Oh, wow. I'll be back to you in a minute. I just weighed that one. That weighed six and a half pound. <laughs> well, it says 6.55 on it, look. <laughs> six, six pound, 5.5 .5 ounces. Well, that storm didn't quite go round the outside. It's come, uh, pulled this way a little bit. The wind is blowing that way, and there, it's all light sky that way, but we're gonna get a little, so here we are again. That must be a Tuesday, as I've said before. <laughs> <coughs> Never mind. we're in with a load of bream, so I don't mind. Do what I like now. <laughs> and I'm in again. Under the brawly, it's nearly stopped raining. The wind has dropped right off. There's hardly a ripple on the water. So if I can get this round this brawly, oh, get it around the other side. There we go. Here we come. Come on, my old mate. Smallest one of the day. Well, I don't mind, mate. Right in the bottom lip, lovely. Come out, mate. That's right in the rubber, look. <laughs> Need to disgorge her. I can't quite get it. There we go, see? Made it a little bit easier with the disgorger. And another nice one, look. Smallest one of the day, but I don't mind. 
That's a good three pound, the smallest one. <laughs> That's the only trouble with bream in it. Yeah. So don't get it all over the land and that. There we go, mate. Lovely, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> and we're in again, look. <laughs> that storm sort of helped them out a bit. Lovely. Yeah, nice one again. Quite a bit of luck, that's only just in his lip. Just. <laughs> Actually, we've got one in the sun, look. The sun's now out. The storm's gone, boy. Look at that, look. <laughs> nice size bream, they are. Do nicely. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> I did have a face in it. <laughs> All right, mate. Yeah. Let's show you again, because I think I had the camera pointing outwards. <laughs> I'd absolutely loved it if you subscribed. <laughs> All you got to do is touch a little button, do well, and it helped my old channel out. <laughs> do nicely. <laughs> I'm getting lower ground, mate. I've got enough for a couple more casts before another storm come. <coughs> I didn't show you the peg, look. See all these pegs here now at Suffolk Water Park and the big lake. They put lovely wood chippings down so it's not muddy. It's brilliant. And as I said at the beginning, this is peg 19 ACDC. <laughs> I wonder why I picked this one. <laughs> well, that's gone dead now, so I'll pack up and I'll catch you again sometime. So it won't be long before I go again. Please give me the thumbs up down the bottom and please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Cheers. Bye bye for now.